there is a built-in function called audio write, which will allow us to take a signal that's stored as an array inside of MATLAB and save it as a new audio file out on our computer's hard drive. When we use this function, we need to specify the array of samples that we want to use, the sampling rate for our signal, and then also the name of the file that we want to create. Let's take a closer look at using the audio write function. Here's an example of how to use the audio write function. The idea is we want to take a signal that's stored in a MATLAB variable and write it out onto our computer's hard drive by creating or saving a new WAV file. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use the, some of the functions that I've shown you before. First up, I'll use audio read to create two new variables, the first one being Y, which is a variable that contains our audio signal, and FS, which is our sampling rate. If I'd like to see the signal that's stored in this variable, I could visualize it by using the plot function to look at the signal's waveform, amplitude versus sample number. If I wanted to listen to the signal that's saved in this variable, I could use the sound function. Finally, I like to use the audio write function to actually take the information in this variable and create a new sound file. So here, for this function, we need to use three input variables. The first one represents the file name. This is a text string, so I need to put it inside of single quotations. I'll just use the name newfile.wave. The second input variable is our signal of samples. That's why. Finally, this is going to be our sampling rate, fs, which is a scalar. Close off the parentheses, put a semicolon on the end. This function does not have any output variables because we're not creating anything new inside of MATLAB. What we're doing is actually creating a new file out on our computer's hard drive. So when I execute this function, we'll see in the current folder that our new file has now popped up. Really the power of this function comes in when we have the ability to do other kinds of processing after we read a file in, we'll process it in different ways, and then we'll write that new file, the processed version of the file, out on our computer's hard drive. So just to verify the file that we've created, I can go in and look inside of my current folder, which is under my documents folder and then MATLAB. Let's come over here in my user folder, I'm going to go into documents, come down here to MATLAB, see that I have my new file stored out here and I can listen to it and make sure everything worked correctly.